In this program, I'm going to create a new type of data. Here we go. Hash include stdio.h and void main. Now I'm going to define the structure called client. Here's client, and it's a structure. It'll be it'll contain an array of ten elements called fn of type char, an array of twelve elements called ln last name of type char. It'll also contain a variable called price of type float and code number of type integer. That's my structure called client. Now I'm going to define a new type of data. Here we go. I'm going to define that structure called client that we were looking at a moment ago. This guy up here. I'm going to define this guy. I'm going to define the structure called client to be a new type of data. I'm going to call this new type of data SC. So SC is a type of data just like int, float, or char. One more time. I'm going to define the structure client to be a new type of data like int, float, or char. I'm going to call this, not in float care, but I'm going to call it SC. All right. Now, I'm just defining it. I haven't created it yet. Now I'm going to create a record structure called rec. It's going to be of this type of data, and I'm going to initialize it. So, here we go. I'm going to create a variable called rec for record. It's going to be of type SC. And I'm going to initialize it with the values George, which will go into the first name field, Bool, which will go into the last name field, 45.99, which will go into the price field, and 1010, which will go into the code number field, C number. Now, I'm going to print it out. Here's my printf statement, and I have two parts. Part with the format specifiers, and the data that will fill in those format specifiers. The first one, rec fn, the first name field of the rec structure, the rec object, pardon me, is mapped to the first percent %s format specifier. The second one, rec ln, last name, is mapped to the second format specifier, percent %s. And the third, rec.price, is mapped to the percent %f format specifier for floats, and rec.codeNumber is mapped to the last format specifier for integers. And that's it. It's going to print these guys right out. And there are tabs in between each one of them, except for, the, uh, except for after the last one, of course. And that's it. That's called struct2. Let's save this. And now, let's compile this. GCC struct two dot c and the output is going to go into a file called struct two dot exe and I hit enter. It is now compiling. It's done. Now it's time to run the program. I key in struct two and I hit enter. And there they there there it goes. George Bull, 45.99002 and 1010. Wow. All my data. This is George Bull. Please read and share this video, and good luck.